stop at the room one minute. You want to say hi to your people? Yeah, hello to the people watching in ESTEC and also to the operational teams in ISOC and in the Fuchino Control Center and the Oberhof Offen Control Center. All right, here are some things to watch for the ignition sequence from minus 17 seconds to minus 6 seconds. The engines, engines are tested automatically in three phases at about 20% of total thrust, then at an intermediate like pressure you about you 50 percent you see the arm falling away there that's always a very exciting moment and then finally at at uh, full throttle at minus three seconds the order is given for the full throttle. We'll let the DDO Top call out the final countdown La and we'll be back after became. Soyuz has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff everybody. A tous, le DDO décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Deux, un, top, décollage. Well, we, we, we are underway. Soyuz lifted off from French Guiana, I guess. We lost her to the cloud cover because the camera is not following her. The people are already coming in from uh, outside on the terrace. But this is the 250th Ariane space mission to fly from French Guiana. And do you know what number Soyuz flight this is? It's about 1860, no? 1,860. 61. 61. It's true. <laughs> so there's nothing like it. There's a shot. I picked up our camera yeah. again of Soyuz burning. Tell me what went through your mind when you watched the liftoff. Well, to be honest, uh, happiness and <laughs> relief. <laughs> Lots of people have worked very hard on this here and in, in Europe, and uh, it's fantastic to see it flying. We need these satellites. The boosters and the central core or second stage are burning now. The boosters weigh 45 tons each at liftoff. Yeah. The total mass is 170 tons at the first stage. Yes, the engines run on liquid oxygen and kerosene, the same propellants which are used in each of the three lower stages. And the second stage, similar to the boosters, its ignition occurred on the launch pad along with 20 engines at once the on the nominal. launch pad. As you saw, this stage burns for about four minutes. Yep. Now remember, Soyuz weighed 300 tons at liftoff. Now, after separation of her boosters in about two seconds, can you guess what her weight will be? Just, just to guess. It's about 135 tons. It's so this is very impressive. This means that it loses half her weight in uh, about two minutes. It's pretty amazing. There's the animation, the cartoon of what it looks like up there. On the bottom of your screen, on the bottom left, our altitude climbing towards 60 kilometers. On the right, our speed approaching two kilometers per second. Looking ahead, briefly, the mission is in two parts. After frigate separation, there will be, that's the fourth stage, there will be a first burn of its engine, which will last for 13 minutes. When this is over, frigate goes into what's called the ballistics phase, where it'll coast for about three hours, making its way toward uh, where the satellites will be separated. And during this time, we'll cut away from the broadcast, but we're not there yet. Yeah, we'll return in the air for the second frigate burn and satellite separation. It's interesting to see that Soyuz is built by RKT's Progress and the Samara Space Center, which also designs and develops the first three stages. Soyuz, as we mentioned, goes back to the first days of the space race, introduced in 1966. Yep. It has everything going for it. It's a reliable vehicle, it's efficient, flexible, it's cost effective, and right. has handled in one version or another, this is the second, uh, it's an updated version for French Guiana, in all versions, uh, all types of missions, from telecoms, yeah, earth observation, to weather, science probes, Mars missions even, and it's the only manned vehicle able to reach the International Space Station, isn't that right? That's right, Josh, it's impressive. Some basic Soyuz facts, it, it, it orbited the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, in 1957, and also the first man in space, uh, Yuri Gagarin, in 1961, also the first woman in space, like the first spacewalk, and also it has the highest demonstrated reliability record, close to 99%. 
We've had jettison, uh, jettisoning of the fairing, and you can see the two satellites exposed now to the elements. Those are the two black boxes. In the middle is the dispenser, <coughs> which will push the two satellites away from each other when they are separated. <coughs> Fairing measures how much? It's tall, right? It's a yeah, it's, it's a, a 4.1 meters diameter and 11.4 meters high. I was uh, next to it yesterday, and it's he's, it's really really tall. You were dwarfed. Yes, by, completely. By the yeah, and uh, we can now get rid of it because we are high enough in the atmosphere, so that there is not actually the atmosphere is very thin, so there is no heating or or friction, and then we don't need it to protect the satellites, and then uh, by jettisoning it we have less weight and the launcher operates better. So it's a good time to get rid of it now. Yes. We can also get rid of the second stage, which is coming up, the extinction of the second stage, coming up in about uh, three seconds.